Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. A contractor is installing a six inch pipe at a depth of six feet. The width of the trench is one foot and a hundred foot in length. The soil is excavated, that is excavated, is going to be reused as backfill in the trench. The swell factor of the soil is 25% and the shrinkage factor is 10%. We will assume that the borrow pit has the same factors. How many trucks of soil will uh, need to be brought in if each one carries 10 cubic yards? So let's draw this out. We've got some sort of trench with a pipe in here. Something like this. This is 500 feet. This is one foot. This is six foot. And this little guy is six inches that's going through the length of there, the pipe that we're putting in. Uh, in order to solve this, you need to know the difference between bank volume. So imagine this is some sort of bank that we're taking soil from. Or it could be in place like we're doing with this problem and once it's out it gets transported and becomes loose in some truck so we call this loose and once it goes back into a road base or a trench and gets compacted they call it compact soil and in the civil engineering reference manual chapter 79 in the edition I'm using goes over this and I'm specifically going to use table 79.1 to use some equations to pull from and we'll go ahead and, and run through this real quick so the first thing we need to do is figure out what the bank volume is that's what's just sitting there so we'll just uh, let's call this bank okay so that's 500 feet by one foot by six foot that gives me uh, 33,000 cubic feet okay so that's the bank volume sitting there and then we got a pipe in there so let's figure that out that's pi force times the diameter which is half a foot squared multiplied by 500 foot in length and what does that give me that gives me uh, do, 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 98 cubic feet all right next thing we need to do is figure out what the volume needed as it's compacted so needed is just the difference between those two which is going to be 3000 minus 98 and so what we need is 20 whoops 2902 cubic feet and that is what we needed we need compact as it is compacted okay we want it brought back in compacted that's what we need okay so uh, the equation that I'm going to pull from now is uh, shrinkage factor so it, let's look at this so shrinkage equals bank volume minus compacted volume over bank volume and we need to solve for the compacted volume that we need with this applied shrinkage factor when the soil goes back in so let's just do that so the shrinkage factor is 0 0.1 given up here and that equals the bank volume which is 3000 minus CV over 3000 and for CV I get do what do I get I get 2700 cubic feet okay so uh, we've got a difference here what we need uh, so when we pull out the soil and put it back we're only getting 2700 cubic feet when we pull out the soil from this trench put it back in and compact it with the shrinkage factor we're only getting 2700 cubic feet and we need 2902 so what's the difference there 2902 minus 2700 is uh, what is that 202 cubic feet that's the difference so what we need to figure out is this is what we this is what we're going to need transported from the trucks how many trucks will need to come uh, to, to give us this so we need to figure out what the loose volume is because that's the way it's going to be transported and uh, there's an equation for this and it's in that table 
and it basically says that our compacted volume equals our loose volume times 1 minus shrinkage factor divided by 1 plus the swell factor. Okay, so what we need to do is plug all this in and solve for the loose volume. So the difference here, we got 202 equals loose volume times 1 minus the shrinkage, which is 0 0.1. We'll write that as 0 0.1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.25, 25%. And solve for the loose volume. I get 22, let's see, 20, 280.6 cubic feet, which if you divide by 27 to convert that to cubic yards, 10.4 cubic yards. And so what that equates to is basically two trucks. Each truck can carry 10 cubic yards. That is two trucks or answer B on this one. So I hope that helped you out. Uh, you need to become familiar with the transformations between these type of uh, soil types, bank volume, loose, and compact. And uh, hopefully that helped you out. So head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the PE. Thanks, bye.